The presidential race has received some interesting updates. During the second and final presidential debate tomorrow night, President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden will have their microphones muted. The Commission on Presidential Debates felt that the changes were needed to avoid another debate devolving into chaos. When asked by reporters about the change, the president responded, I'll participate, I just think it's very unfair. A source close to the commission disclosed that the decision on muting the microphones was unanimous by its members and stressed that this is not a change to rules, but rather a move to promote adherence to rules that have already been agreed to by both campaigns. Lowe's is kicking off holiday shopping with a season of savings sale on Thursday. This kickoff is earlier than in the past years and will offer more online specials than in store due to COVID-19. Instead of the usual Black Friday, Lowe's will have daily one-day cyber streaks from October 22nd to December 2nd. Lowe's Executive Vice President, Chief Brand and Marketing Officer had this to say to USA Today. We want people to be able to get what they want at great values no matter how they want to shop this holiday season. Deals will be available for curbside pickup, in-store pickup, and delivery. The Army declared the death of Vanessa Guillen was in the line of duty. That means the family of the murdered Fort Hood Army specialist will receive compensation such as life insurance and final pay. Guillen's family had been frustrated with the Army's response to her disappearance. The military says fellow soldier Aaron David Robinson killed her abroad Fort Hood back in April. According to her family, she planned to file a harassment complaint against Robinson, who investigators say later took his life. Last month, a bipartisan bill named after Vanessa was introduced to Congress to make sexual harassment a crime in the military. COVID-19 cases continue to soar all over the U.S. A top expert in infectious diseases is sending out a warning to Americans about what's to come. Mandy Gaither has more. A fall surge of COVID-19 was predicted, and many health experts say it's here with rising cases across the U.S. The next 6 to 12 weeks are going to be the darkest of the entire pandemic. Vaccines will not become available in any meaningful way until uh, early to third quarter of next year. And even then, half the U.S. population at this point is skeptical even taking the vaccine. Despite COVID cases climbing, Dr. Anthony Fauci doesn't see a nationwide lockdown as a way forward. Put shutdown away and say we're going to use public health measures to help us safely get to where we want to go. Experts say Americans can help get the virus under control by heeding the guidelines touted by officials for months. We should be washing our hands. We should be social distancing. We should be doing all of these things that we know work. And masks are number one, two, and three in terms of what will prevent transmission of coronavirus. Dr. Salim Gounder says if we don't take this seriously now, we're going to find ourselves in a more difficult position over the next month. For today's Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. 27 states have seen at least a 10% increase of average daily cases over the week. The United Kingdom is accusing Russia's military of carrying out cyber attacks on the 2020 Olympics. The UK accuses the Russian military intelligence service of targeting officials and organizations involved in the planning of the games. The games were scheduled to take place in July in Tokyo, but were postponed due to COVID-19. UK's Foreign Secretary condemned the actions Monday, calling the unit cynical and reckless. The UK also said the Russian body, better known as the GRU, also targeted the 2018 Winter Games, disguising itself as North Korean and Chinese hackers. The coronavirus pandemic has destroyed the U.S. economy, leaving millions of Americans struggling to make ends meet. CNN's John Lawrence tells us more. Plans for a stimulus package are rolling forward, but the road is still bumpy. Either Democrats get every unrelated policy they want or American families get nothing. What we have here are a series of show stunt votes designed to fail because the Republicans want them to fail. Although there is bickering on the Senate floor, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says she and Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin are making progress. 
And the Trump White House is backing the idea of a larger package. The president and Secretary Mnuchin and myself have not only uh, made modifications, but made substantial modifications that uh, come at the risk of, of uh, jeopardizing Republican support. As Washington, D.C. negotiates, the American people wait as COVID-19 health restrictions affect the U.S. economy. Many businesses cannot keep employees hired, make ends meet, pay the same overhead every month. I think it's hurting people's livelihood and the economy and everything else. According to sources close to McConnell, the majority leader says it would be logistically hard to get a bill done prior to Election Day due to legislative hurdles. I'm John Lawrence reporting. The Senate is scheduled to vote on a proposal worth about $500 billion today. The plan is similar to a plan Democratic leaders declined earlier this year. This plan is also expected to fail. Welcome back. I'm Brittany Jarrett. Let's get right on in to today's weather. Hey. Today, Wednesday, we are seeing clear skies. We have a high of 83 with a low of 69. And Thursday, tomorrow, is looking pretty much the same. However, on Friday, we are going to see some clouds. We're going to have a high of 82 with a low of 67. On Saturday, same thing over the weekend, high of 84 with a low of 66. So we are dropping just a little bit. And on Sunday, we are going to see some scattered thunderstorms and rain. So if you have plans, please, please, please prepare for the weather. Welcome back. I am Maya Ellison with your sports news for today. Let's get right into it. According to a source with FAMU Athletics, football practice has been postponed. This is a result of one of the teammates testing positive for the coronavirus. This will also be, this will most likely be, excuse me, the beginning of a precautionary COVID-19 quarantine period for the program. Florida State University's volleyball team has postponed matches this week. The team was scheduled for three matches total, all of them against either top teams such as Wake Forest or Clemson. This postponement is due to corona-related issues and no makeup date has been determined as of yet. The postponement of this week's matches potentially ends the fall season for the Seminoles. An apple a day will keep the doctors away. It's National Apple Day. Enjoy the fruit and have some fun eating apple pie, crisp sauce, caramel apple, or cider. There's even a social media hashtag to go along with the post, hashtag Apple Day. Some fun facts about apples, there are more varieties of fruit than any other fruit. But believe it or not, only one variety is native to North America, and that's crab apples. An incredible run being nine months. A pregnant woman ran a mile in under six minutes a week before her due date. With millions of draws dropping, the video went viral on social media. 28-year-old McKenna Myler, who moved to California from Australia, has been running five or six times a week during her pregnancy. Two doctors cleared her to keep running while pregnant. The product trainer says her husband bet her $100 she couldn't break an eight-minute record while nine months pregnant. She took the bet and crushed the goal, coming in at five minutes and 25 seconds. 